hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're a new subscriber today 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 i'm gonna be reacting to caramel show again because last time i did it I, I i don't know i feel like i just liked reacting to it i was like you know what i'm gonna be reacting to it more i'm gonna react to another, vi to another video i can't even speak right now but yeah i'll going to react to another video from uh caramel show and this one is it's called um you are out all night who are you thirsting <laughs> anyway uh i think it's about a couple and they're probably having like a uh, couple issues but i uh, really don't know the real story so we're gonna be reacting to that me and you so we know what the hell is going on anyway stay tuned because we are about to go down i feel like i, I need popcorn i need something to eat because this show will be really really entertaining and i'm like <gasps> anyway My eye. I don't know. I feel like I'm having bugs. Anyway. If you write anything, you need to get grammar. Grammar errors, spelling errors, and grammar even helps me find the right words errors. to use so I can say what I want to say. Download Grammarly for free. Okay, Grammarly for free. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Wait, wait. I need to see. I need to make sure it's good quality because this video has been really no. YouTube being really not giving people credit. Welcome to the show. All right, so Fiera says she found Hello? the whole packet with Hello? Eric. She says he takes care of business in every way possible, mm -hmm. which is why she doesn't understand why he keeps disappearing in the middle of the night for hours at a time. Mm -hmm. She says she needs my help to unlock his phone and to solve the mystery of where... Wait. So, okay, so they guy is the one that won't open his phone for the woman to see. Oh, it's the other way around. I feel like I thought it was the woman, but okay. Go late at night. Everyone, please welcome the era to the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's the man. Sierra? 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 How you doing? This red lip is cute. Thank you. You're welcome. How you doing? Fine. Um, come on, ponytail. Yes, it is good. <laughs> it is I like your good, good compliment. So please tell me, how did you meet Eric? Okay, so I'm another Eric. A fun fact: I've already said this. I've got a brother called Eric as well, <laughs> and this is the second Eric in the show. And him, me and my friend, um, Ooh, we was out promoting our business because I sell cupcakes, cookies, banana pudding. So I said, um, I see him. I'm like, would you like to buy something for me on these items? And he was like, I really don't eat sweets. But mm. I will definitely make it contribute to your business. Come through. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh, wow. Small right? So he did that. And once he did that, he asked for my number. Yeah. And when he asked for my number, uh, I told him I'm not looking for nobody. I'm living single, free, and happy. Mm -hmm. And then he was consistently calling me, coming to my house every day. I mm -hmm. didn't know he was so close mm -hmm. to where I lived at. Uh -huh. Every day he called me. Every day he called me. Okay. And then, like, he would like um, he was give me money that. to go out of town. Mm. It, the first month I met him, he gave me money for a rental. And even though we didn't go out of town, I still used the money to go for the rental. He said, just go out with your girlfriends and everything like that. So that's how the relationship has been cute. Yeah. Okay. That's really sweet though. I feel like he's really, he's really been chasing this girl like for a very long time. And the girl now gave you a chance to actually be with her you now being you become this one stupid little bitch anyway i'm sorry for my language how's the financially wise? During, uh, financially wise okay so how's it been outside of financially wise um yes eric is like we go on trips we have a Ooh. good time That's but it's just we yeah. have a great time like they keep together say, as well <laughs> a great time <laughs> So when did you start to think that he was cheating on you? When he goes out in the middle of the night. Okay. And then, like, he blocks me. <laughs> he blocks me. I call me. him, and his phone, like, he'll answer. And then when I call him again, it won't answer. So that means it's blocked. So, and when he comes closer to coming home, he'll unblock me. What? Uh -huh. First of all, I didn't even know that you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, what? I'm confused. Answer, so that means it's blocked. Wait, what? Say that again. I will call him. Okay. And his phone, like, he'll answer. And then when I call him again, it won't answer. So that means it's blocked. So, and when mm. he comes closer to coming home, he'll unblock. That's really smart. I've never actually thought of that. I just, I'll probably just think, like, oh, maybe it's somewhere that there's no signal or something. Oh, 
alles da. <lacht> What? First of all, I didn't even know that you could do that. Yes. Okay. Listen, I'm all about unlocking phones. I didn't know you could block somebody really quickly and unblock them. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so what is his explanation for, first of all, blocking you and unblocking you? He said he doesn't block me. I'm, you know, I'm just over-exaggerating. Okay. And he was hanging out with his friends. And I'm like, Eric, before I knew you, I mean, before we got really intimate in a relationship, you're a rock star. You, you know, you like to hang out with your friends. You like to drink and everything like that. But... Not here. We're not gonna be rock stars here. Yeah. Mm. So how's him staying out late at night? You have to be to sacrifice some stuff on your days. Someone that that do do make sense. I'm sure she did sacrifice some of her stuff as well. But she, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. My sleep pattern. I'm so used to sleeping with him in the middle of the night. So mm. when he's not there, I get up and I worry. Like I call him, call him, call him. When he doesn't answer. I can't sleep. Ooh. I'm like, what is he doing? Um, is anything going on? Like, is he drinking till he get a DUI? Mm. Anything. Like, my mind goes to racing, and I can't sleep. Which is normal. So what yeah. does he say when you say that to him, when you confront him? What does he say? We have a rule, right? And one of the rules was, because I don't like this, that 12 o'clock midnight, everybody's in the house. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're at a party or something, and you, you out, stay, call, check in, like, okay, the party's just getting lit. I'm going to stay another hour or two. No check-in, no nothing. Oh, and that upsets okay. me. I'm angry. Okay, I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. So she's upset because they have a rule. Um, I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. I'm just trying to understand. But I'm, I'm speaking it out loud. And it sounds like I'm just repeating what she's saying. But anyway, I'm just trying to understand. I feel it hard to not say it out. <laughs> anyway, let's just watch it. Want to beat him up when he gets home because see, it seems like he's so nonchalant. Like, yeah, I was just hanging out with my friend. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm not. I'm not bothered by a twelve, 12 o'clock boundary. That mm. sounds reasonable. Yeah, to me. right. But we laugh, and I know people when they say things um, about you want to beat him up. Do you actually ever get physical with him? I have. I, oh, I mean, it depends. No, on that's not good. Situation. If I keep calling you and not answering, I, I try to. I, I talk. I'm like, we're gonna count to ten before we see Eric. But you know, you're you're you know like. I feel like you're playing games like okay, so you it's like nonchalant to you. Yeah. So like I'm the type of person because I'm so invested in this, I will break your little legs and take you to the hospital and take care of you throughout the whole thing. <laughs> nah, that's a bit too far now. Nah. Hey, stop. <laughs> if I was in the situation, I feel like I've just not speak to the person for the next two days <laughs> not break his legs <laughs> nah, damn. but the thing is in the good side though if we think about it if she breaks his leg then he won't be going to the parties <laughs> okay wait 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 i'm sorry that this is a bad idea don't be breaking people's legs but that's just to show you that i ain't nothing to play with either what in the misery? <laughs> because I love you so much, right? That's and I don't want to see you. I, I don't want you playing games with me. You can't go out. You gonna be able to drive? We are gonna have these problems in a couple weeks. That's what I said. <laughs> because you broke my leg. Yeah, and I'm taking care of you. <laughs> I'm I can't even really, say that it is. Girl, you got me at a loss of words. I'm Real good care. Y'all gonna feed you. Make sure you take your pain medication. After I broke your legs. Yes. It's the take care of me part that is throwing me off right now. Mm -hmm. What other uh, issues? That's crazy though. With? Cause uh, no 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 no. Okay. So you break his legs. You take him to the hospital. Do you not get asked how did this happen? <laughs> Do you, would you say like he got in a fight with his friends, or did you say oh I broke his leg? I just want to take care of him now. <laughs> Other than beating somebody up and take care of him. That's crazy. His friends, uh -huh. his friends feel like I'm demanding his life. I'm ruling him. And it's not like that. My mm. life is structured. He can party all night and, and go to work. I can't do that. So I'm doing what I have to do. And Eric needs to do what he has to do. So question. Life. Okay. But question for you. How long have you actually stayed? How long have you two been together, actually? Since March. So you, it's been less than a year you've been together? No. Yes. Less than a year. And in less than a year, less than a year, that's crazy. I I don't know if I would be that 
in, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I feel like what, you're doing, holding a lot of the load. You're also I, feeling as if you can't I could have been together for like six or like five years. Get physically violent with him. Ne le less than a year. That's a bit. Why do you stay with mm. him? I have had relationships in the past where financially they would take care of me, but mm. they lack in the bedroom. With Eric, is the best of both worlds. Got it. Financially and in the bedroom. sexually. So you wanted me to unlock his phone. What is it that you think that I'll find in there? Or what are you hoping that I'll find in there? I mean, answers. Where are you going in the middle of the night? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, think you're yeah. just hanging out with your friends. Mm. Okay, well, let's so start with us. That's open after 12. It's only legs. Listen, everyone, so, let's listen. welcome Eric to the show. Everything is, when you break his leg, is he just gonna be standing there? Lady, I would love you to be my friend. Every night? Every night, every night. So you go out every night? If I go to the store, ring, 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 I can't go nowhere. Phone just started ringing off the arm, huh? So when I get to the house, like, she just want to jump on me. Like, what? Like, no, that's when you go hours of a time. I need your perspective. So, one, do you block her every time you leave the house? I don't block her. I just cut the phone off. No, no, no. Okay. Like, every time I go somewhere, I'm cheating. You turn, up, you turn off the phone. Still, turn off the phone or blocking you is the same thing. Exactly. You, you can't thing. reach the person. So, we got clarity. Exactly. I appreciate you telling me that. Does she beat you up? Yeah. Because she said she beat you up every night. Yeah, mostly every night. Well, anytime I go out somewhere and come back, I get beat up. And what do you mean by beat up? No, uh, yeah, yeah, I want to know. Please explain. Specify. Like... Explain, please. I want to know what do you mean by beat up. Do you like, yeah, whooping like, like, like a child, or do you just like? Do I have been a I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> as soon as I, as soon as I come through the door, she go to hit me. Like, what do you mean? Like, she's hitting your arm, and she hitting arm, your chest, face, she's hitting everything. Face. She's like literally hitting. No, yeah, no, yeah. Eric is exaggerating. When Eric goes out five, six hours at a time, and I cannot reach you. I'm upset. And then you come in there like, like it's nothing to you. Yeah. And all this time I'm sitting here worrying. Well, what mm. is your response when she hits you? Uh, no, I be trying to push her away like, stop, stop. You know, I don't hit females and I don't, you know. <laughs> oh, she loves him. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> he doesn't hit me back. Does he hit you back? He has hit me back. He has hit no. you back? Mm -hmm. Like where? He, he like shoved me off of him. He shoved you off. Yes. Okay. But has he physically hit you? No. Mm. Like I told her, I really that's, love him. That's, that's nice. I respect that. And I really do want to marry you. I just want to get over this stuff right here. What she Oh, y'all said, really? <laughs> <laughs> After all the beating and all that stuff, I really do love her. Uh, well, first I want to know, are you cheating on her? I think mean, no, I'm not cheating on her. The cute kind of big thing. It's not I'm like not the cheating on her. <laughs> and she always accuses me. I don't know why. So then where do you disagree with her? She has a wandering hours? eye. So, Eric, where do you go for the hours? Like I say, I chill with my friends. You know, for five to six hours every night? Well, I chill with them sometimes. I let her go to the casino. She know that, too. But So, take me with you. No, mm. he used to take me to the casino with him. Then I stop. Why did it stop? Huh? Yeah. Why did it stop taking the casino with you? Somebody got to be there with the kids. Well, so, why I always got to be there with the kids? Why yeah, I was going to say, you can't use that one as an excuse because exactly. somebody gave that to you. I want to know, outside the children, why is it that you stopped going out with her? Mm. We do go out or whatever, but everywhere we go... It don't just be home, she want to jump on me. Where we go at? Like, if I say something, she'll want to fight me right there in front of everybody. Like, <laughs> I can't go nowhere That's with not it. true. That's not true. It's, you take it anywhere, she want to fight you right there. Like, and I'm not that type of person. I don't know. Hey, like, what? Like I told you, I really wanted to work. I want you to just stop. Just stop. So if you, you keep saying, like, I want you to stop and I want to work this out, you've said that several times, then why do you keep going out if you feel like it's ruining your relationship? Yeah, why? A lot of time I can't sleep at night. You understand me? I do get up and... Do leave for a little bit. He would home. literally tell me I will be back in an hour, and it'd be six hours. So then, why do you say I'm gonna be gone for an hour? Then she ain't gonna want me to leave. That's not true. Uh -huh. Eric, do you see a future with her? No, that person. He say I'm going for an hour just so she can let him go. But really, he's going for six hours. See, I'm I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> yeah. What are you right, doing? Well, she wants me to unlock your phone. What well, was there anything that you think I'll find today? He already deleted, deleted All right, so everything. You asked me to unlock his phone. Um, is there anything that you want to say, Eric? I do let other people use my phone sometimes. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you let other people use your phone? 
No, nah, that's not an excuse. Girl, keep the shoes on. No, no, no. We not unlocking the phone until you keep them shoes back on, girl. My foot. No, uh, keep them shoes back on, girl. Put them shoes back on. She's about to buy. She's ready, baby. I'd love to have it as a friend because she'll have my back. Like <laughs> she would have my you back. Feel like you're getting angry. The thing that you cannot do is engage in violence. I'm not. Okay. Uh, nobody's worth going to jail for. Amen. Let's see. Phone I locked. Okay. When it comes to unlocking your phone, Eric, we went through it all. We went through DMs. We went through apps. When it came to emails, we found zero yeah. suspicious emails. When it came to calls, we found zero calls. Okay. When it came to text messages, I found 119 wow. suspicious text messages. 119? 119. Really, Eric? Hmm? 119. 119. 119 text messages. Security right there. Yeah, take a seat for me. I, I rather so, stand. 119. Well, come stand by me. Right. You come stand by me. No wonder you go out all night, every night. Like, 119 text, suspicious text messages. What the hell? Not even one, not two. 119. I don't know what the hell is this, is this 119 different people or it's just like one person with 119 tests like a conversation I'm so confused okay you stand by me here we go I'm gonna hold your hand with this no, okay you, know, my you sure you sure I'm good you sure okay. 119 so we found three screenshots talking to a sex worker <gasps> okay uh, you wanna I'm thinking that's sex real quick and then um, he's the person said yeah babes mm. nah, that's a, nah, that's and right. then somebody said uh, yes I'm available wait is, is he a sex worker I yeah, don't that, even know that's it. my home wall we need one for right? your home boy any response like I told you, people use my phone sometimes, but okay. I know I ain't take some stuff like that. All right, on top of that, um, there was one thing that I really found out. There was a se sexually explicit screenshot with somebody. I pulled all the messages, the specific person. So I printed all the pages of messages between you and this woman for you to see. Do you have anything you want to say to now? No. Your friend was still using your phone? <laughs> you, you can't use that your to do yourself a favor. Why is it speechless? Okay. Okay. So, because we're not looking at it. Like I said, that's why we have to try to work on our relationship. No, no, no. Uh, you, can't, you can't work on something. And I'll say, you can't work on something until there's honesty and acknowledgement. Yeah. So, can you look at the woman you're with and at least acknowledge and be real with her about what you've done? I cheated, baby. I'm sorry. And like, I'm trying to be honest. I cheated. I'm sorry. I cheated. So, the thing is, is that when she comes home at night, though, you having a physical being physically violent to him is not okay the fact of the matter is is that you do understand that there was some reason that she was acting this way so now he's admitted that he's cheated so now what is next for you what is the decision that you have to make as a woman he doesn't care yeah she doesn't so if i if i did this he doesn't care how do you say you want to marry a woman but or will cheat on her boys is up oh means are just stupid but anyway, let's Same thing. It. Would you still be here? Mm. Probably not. So why do you want to stay with him? Who said I wanted to stay? Oh. I love that for her. Yeah. Now, I, would... I told Eric before, I said, if you cannot be in a committed relationship with me, leave me alone. You said, I could be in a committed relationship. I'm going to do good by you, everything. But this... Proves otherwise. Mm. You try to work with a baby. Uh, this your baby. <laughs> this is your freaking baby. Freaking baby, freaking. Yes. You know you're wrong. Mm. At the end of the day, I think you've admitted you've done that. Um, she's gonna need time to process this. So if you'd please step off the stage. Um, yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you. I'm gonna talk to her. Alone. All right. Um. 
So I'm going to acknowledge one thing that I think is great. I saw your behavior there, and I realized part of why you got up is because I asked you to refrain from being violent. You said you have to believe me, and you're right. I should have given you more credit for being the woman you are. And I want to know for you, now that you have these facts, how do we stop this behavior from going forward? How do we stop it where you know how to pick a man that's not going to do this for you? Well, you really don't know people... I mean, anybody can lie, anybody can Damn. cheat, anything. I feel like if I was hurt, though, I feel like even if I just found out, I just found out the truth of the guy I'm with who's been cheating on me, I would kind of regret coming on the show because it's just disappointment. Because obviously you don't expect anything like such from your partner and then you just come uh, in front of people. Oh, God. But if it's not going your way, just go. But when it's too much inconsistencies, now I need to know. Yeah. Now we need to get a resolution. Mm -hmm. And we're here now yeah. to get what we need. And I'm I glad that this show helped me to realize that Eric is a cheater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will tell you this much is that one of the things I want you to recognize for your next relationship, it's something I wrote down which was important to me. It said, it's nothing to you when he comes home late. Which that statement right there, it's nothing to you, was really a statement about self. Which means you don't value me. You don't see me. You don't respect me. Yeah. And I want you to use that I statement. I love this right show. I, I fucking so much love this show now. If I'm reacting to this show more often, I'm sorry. I just love it. <laughs> big force for you as you get into your next relationship. The minute you feel like a man is doing something where it's like his behavior is like it's nothing to him if he's hurting you. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for a second, third time believe it the first time and i don't know where that behavior came from but i don't want you to have that ever again you don't deserve to be with a man that's going to be out all night you don't deserve a man who's not going to match up with your lifestyle yep. absolutely okay well i'm not doing it for a while i love this man and the show man, man that's what i'm really gonna tell you girl focus on your business okay and don't let no man ever push you to a place where you got to feel like you got to put your hands on him again you're gonna be all right i know it Definitely. you have your facts now Keep this for you and just remember the language that you're using to show about your own self-esteem and just try to be better. Okay? And we're single! It's so real coming as well. I'm clapping. Where are you going? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Uh, I'm actually happy. Oh, like, I love this show. I actually do love it. I just wish maybe some days I'll go to one of these shows and just see it real life happening. I would love that, honestly. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was the end of that video. And that was actually fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Because I'm sure you did. Because that was entertaining as fuck. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.